All right, we are going live tonight at 6 p.m. Mountain Time, and uh, we're going live tonight with Derek McDonald, um, who's going to share how he let go of 34 pounds in six weeks with you know no exercise, no fad dieting, anything like that. Um, before we, I invite Derek on here. Obviously, we have the same last name. He he is actually my older brother. Uh, about six weeks ago, 42 days ago. Uh, and he, he decided to, to join the program. So I, I'm going to invite him on here in just a, just a minute. Uh, before we do that, uh, if you are joining us, uh, let me know where you're coming from. And I'm in Idaho Falls. Derek's down in Cedar, Utah, uh, Cedar City. And love to see where you guys are coming from. We get people from all over. So post in the comments. If you guys have any questions while we go through this uh, for, for me or for Derek, love to, to answer those if we can. Um, and then th a couple of things really quick before I invite Derek on. The reason why I like to, to do these interviews with people uh, is for a couple, maybe three reasons. Number one is I like to give my, my clients on the program an opportunity to celebrate their victories. It's, you know, they go through a, a six-week process. They lose a ton of weight. It's fun to kind of share your experience sometimes. Um, so that's the first reason. The second reason is so that other people who are joining my program, maybe they're in the first week or so, they can see the progress of someone who's gone through it. Because sometimes when you join a, a program around your weight, it's discouraging to not see any results. It's discouraging after the first week or two or three to only lose three or four or five pounds. I was talking with someone earlier today, that was been their experience. And so that doesn't often happen in our program. Usually we see about 10, seven to 10 pounds in the first week or so, but it's also really good for clients who are just joining. I call them metabolic champions that join our program that are just joining in to be able to see other people and, and the amazing progress that they've had in six weeks. And then the third reason is if you are you know new to this, if you've never watched a live or anything like that, um, it, it really gives people an opportunity to see what it's like to go through the program firsthand, not from me, from you know somebody on the program. Uh, they can talk about their experience and, and what they you know obviously have done to really achieve success. And so that's really a, a great uh, great opportunity for, for them to share that and for other people to hear it. So um, and again, if you are joining us, we've had had a bunch of people here join us. Um, Kylie and, and Justin Ron, thanks for joining us, you guys. Um, really quick too, before I, I bring on Derek, I, just if you are joining us for the first time, the Metabolic Reboot Program is a program that I run just to give you some information about it so you have some context into the conversation that we'll have. It's a program that I run. It's a six week long program um, with a little bit of maintenance there at the end to lock in your new, new metabolic set point. But on the program, what we're doing is we're resetting your metabolism so that you're burning fat efficiently and quickly and, and easily. Uh, you're able to detox your body. We gotta support the liver. We're helping your brain really communicate with the thyroid, which controls your metabolism, really help reset that process. Uh, we get rid of the inflammation in the body so people have more energy, they experience better sleep, you know, a lot of times. And by really nourishing the body and getting the body functioning better, we're able to see a lot of people you know, reduce or reverse a lot of times our chronic disease or see a lot of improvement with it, lower blood pressure, cholesterol, all that kind of stuff. So it's really an amazing process. A lot of times through our program, there's not much hunger or cravings and it, people just feel amazing. And sometimes, which we may hear from Derek, that that's not always the case. Uh, some people do have some cravings and some hunger that they have to work through um, and really learn to develop the skills to be able to do that. So we'll be able to hear a little bit of Derek's experience with that. So I'm gonna invite him on here so that he can join us. And again, as you guys questions and that kind of thing, um, as we, we talk, hopefully we can address them either on the live or afterwards. Um, and uh, yeah, we'd love to, to share with you guys. And again, post where you guys are coming from. Love to see that. Give us a like or a thumbs up um, if you are joining us so that we know you're also coming. That's great for us to be able to see that. So. Um, hopefully Derek says it's adding him here. Oh, there he is right there. Hello. How's it going? Good. My hair's a mess. <laughs> That's all right. That's all right. So awesome. I just gave a little introduction, obviously about you, Derek, and told him we're brothers. And if people can't tell, we kind of look similar in ways, but, um, yeah, so I'd love to, to jump in. Thanks for taking some time. You know, it's Friday night, um, to away from your family and uh, share a little bit about your experience with, with anybody and, and with our you know, other people joining the program. So let's, uh, let's jump in. 
and just talk for, for a second. Tell me kind of leading up to the program. I know obviously we had talked a little bit about it, but maybe just before doing the program or kind of leading up to it, what's been your experience with health or weight? Or I know you've tried some other things in the past. Tell me just yeah a little bit about that. Yeah. So, I mean, in, uh, you know, growing up, you eat whatever you want all the way through high school. I ate what I want, uh, did always been pretty athletic, uh, you know, done did sports and weightlifting and, uh, and then somewhere in 25 years old or something like that, I, uh, you know, started to put weight on and just slowly creeps up on you and, you know, old age sets in and then um, all of a sudden you are kind of fat. You know, I get up to I, my ideal weight's probably uh, 180 and I was up to, you know, 220 a couple times and then I'd get back down to 200 and then I'd go up to 230 and then I'd get back down to 210 and it just slides up, you know, slower and slower. And last year, uh, after I got back after a long vacation, I was 247, uh, which is just big. <laughs> so through some like recreational dieting with friends, like, oh, we'll lose two pounds a week together and, you know, loser pays for probably a dessert. <laughs> uh, anyways, so I started the program at 236. Um, and yeah, I was, you know, overweight and I mean, not not terrible my body holds it well so i i see a lot of the comments here like oh are you serious you were on a diet and i'm like yeah 236 is pretty big uh even though my <laughs> my body holds it well you know right yeah you're i mean you're like you're much taller you're like three or four inches taller than me and you're a very strong you know strong guy so it doesn't like look like you're necessarily overweight but as you kind of mentioned i think we'll I'm excited to hear or have you share something you had texted about going hiking last year versus this year. I know there's some difference now and, you know, just the, the size that, you know, carrying on that extra weight is a little bit harder. So tell me, you know, before you mentioned like when you would exercise or you do some dieting or weightlifting, it was, uh, tell me like what that experience was like. You were able to get down. How long did that normally take you? What was the experience like doing that? Well, so you know, whenever I would get motivated, I could, I was able to lose the weight. Um, and, you know, was always pretty successful. I've done lots of like, uh, you know, in high school and in college, I did body for life, which is a, a dieting program uh, where it's designed more to bulk up uh, and get strong. Um, and I've always, you know, just started working out. And every time I start working out, I realize the value of a calorie uh, and then I, I'm like, oh boy, I better watch what I eat. And so, um, you know, that's sort of how it's gone. It's been yo-yo. And, and um, so, you know, the older I get, the higher the number gets and the harder it becomes to get back down to where I ideally want to be. Um, so, you know, it's been up and down and up and down. And uh, that's, you know, it slides upwards as you b bounce around, so to speak. Right. Yeah. Okay. So every time you lose, comes back a little higher, lose again, come back a little bit higher as you get older. Mm -hmm. Okay. So tell me, you know, you, this time around, obviously doing the program, we, I know we had talked about a little bit, what was kind of the motivation or like the kind of that tipping point of saying, all right, I'm going to do this. Like we're going to jump in and, and go with this. Um, I, you know, I don't know. I think I was playing my wife and one of my friends and myself were playing this sort of this diet game where you would lose two pounds and weigh in on Sunday. And I, and I wanted to lose the weight, but I couldn't get anyone else to really play and take it seriously. And, uh, and so, you know, I'd been watching your videos and, um, I thought, boy, that would just be an easy, great way to do it um, and, and just get it over with. And, you know, I come, we come from a family of dieters, chronic dieters, um, and it's just, just part of who I am. I always want to be skinny. Um, and, you know, I see what, what weight loss or weight will do to people's, you know, even if it doesn't do anything to your 
heart and you know you end up having a heart attack or something it ruins your ankles it ruins your knees it ruins your hips it ruins your back i don't care who you are there is no exception to that rule because of the way that the body you know the leverage on the joints work it's like every pound you put on you know when you're running puts like an extra four or, or something pounds on your knees as the impact goes down um and so i just you know well, i've always wanted to be skinny and couldn't couldn't get anyone to really do it with me uh and perhaps i you know, it's easier and funner to do it when you're doing it with somebody else um and so you have a little more strength and a little more longevity and anyways so that that was sort of the motivation and then um and then you know we went up to a family event and i was like you guys let's do this together and we'll we'll make an event out of it and like what six weeks yeah it'll be brutal but six weeks and then we're done and that and that's it you know so that's yeah. that's sort of where it started cool very cool yeah it it, it was uh a, a much kind of a rallying like let's do it six weeks and so it's six weeks since then i think that was like sometime in june uh end of june or something and so let's talk about some of the things that have helped you kind of throughout the process uh, as far as achieve your goals, because th you're at the end of the 42 days, you were 34 pounds from where you'd started. Is that right? Yeah. It depends on how you measure <laughs> right. what, what time of day and whatever else. But I mean, you could stretch it to 35 pretty easily um, because at the peak after the loading days, I was at 237 and I ended at 202. Um, but you know, if you, if on a more reasonable side, it's more like 33 or 34. So. Okay, cool. So somewhere right in there. So tell me what were some of the things for you that like helped you kind of achieve that success throughout the last six weeks? You know, sorry. My getting messages. Um, what were the things that helped me achieve success? Yeah, I guess uh, I, you know, I guess I, one of the things that really helped me was having other people around me do it. Um, and, you know, fortunately, I was able to join with other, you know, my wife and my sister and my mom. And also my brother was the, uh, you know, facilitator or whatever you want to call that coach. Um, and you know, that, that part of it was really, really helpful for me uh, because, you know, when you're struggling and you're craving and you're, you know, you just want to give up and you're like, I'm just going to take a free day. I'm just going to take a free day. And you can say to your, whoever you're doing it with, that I'm, you know, I'm not going to make it tomorrow uh, that they can say, I know how you feel. It's okay. You know, let's, let's uh, talk through this. Um, and then, you know, even if you do have, uh, you know, slip or an accident or or you eat some junk food or something that it's not like over it's not over because you're doing this as a group um and you know you're not gonna they're not gonna let you just quit on on the program because you had a little incident you know mm -hmm. so okay so having having some support a support team yeah i mean and there's lots of other things that help make the diet better you know, strangely enough, it's easier to eat when it's twice a day. So you eliminate either two, one or two meals a day. And so just the hassle of that part of it's better because you're only eating twice. Uh, the second part is, is that it's all pre-planned, pre-packaged. I mean, that, that was a helpful part is that I, in the, in the morning I'd wake up and I'd measure out, you know, four ounces of, of vegetables and four ounces of fruit and four ounces of meat. And then I just had it available um, for, at lunchtime when I was ready instead of like, uh, you know, waiting till one o'clock in the afternoon. I'm so hungry. Where are we going to go to eat? Let's hurry and go down to, you know, wherever, uh, Jimmy John's or you know, Wendy's or something and just grab because you're kind of desperate and you're in a hurry. So, so there's a, a strange uh, factor that is convenient. There's a bit of a convenience factor to it. Um, so that, that helps too. Yeah. Yeah. It's not maybe as convenient as running to like somewhere you don't have to prepare in the morning, but doing a little planning, it sounds like it definitely helped in that preparation of not having to like worry about it. Right. Make it a little more convenient. 
sounds like cool very cool so i know throughout the process for you there was you know some sometimes when i talk to some of the clients on the program they're like yeah like i was talking to someone today and she's like yeah i'm never hungry like and there's no cravings um you know that kind of thing i know that wasn't always the case for you tell me a little bit about like your experience with like going through the program and the times when it was hard where you were maybe experiencing some hunger or some sort of craving, what were you able to do or what were some things that were helpful to kind of break through that and kind of overcome some of that? Or what was your experience like with that too? Well, um, I mean, I'll be the first to admit this is not a cakewalk. <laughs> this is not, uh, if you think this is going to be like fun or enjoyable, I mean, for my body physique or whatever it was, uh, I mean, it was tough. It was absolutely tough, um, you know, for the withdrawal period of, you know, all sorts of sugars and sweets and whatever else, uh, you know, for about a week, I had a lot, a lot of muscle fatigue. Um, and, you know, we, Jared ended up consulting some physicians and stuff to talk about uh, what we could do. And we ended up uh, adding some, Himalayan salt to the diet, which helped. Um, and then the weakness eventually subsided. Uh, but the hunger for me uh, never really went away. And particularly at night um, after dinner, uh, and you're just sitting around the house and you're hanging out with the kids and there's just food right there all the time. And um, I mean, that's it's brutal in that, that those few hours. And one of the things that helped a lot was like, just go to bed. Like I normally, you know, stay up till 10, 11, 12, playing around, whatever. Like I'm hungry. I'm tired. I'm irritable. I'm going to bed. It, it's 930. The kids are in bed. I'm out, you know? And, and then yeah. oddly enough, you know, the next morning I wake up not hungry and I'm not hungry until, you know, lunchtime. And then I eat and everything's, uh, you know, good for a couple hours after you eat. And then something about eating actually makes you hungrier a couple hours later. But, you know, right before bed, right before dinner, those are the, the two hardest times. Um, I just found that having the appropriate food around you at any given point is the best way to do it. So when you get to panic mode, when you get to sheer desperation, even if it's 1130 and you're like, I know I'm not supposed to eat till noon, but at least I have a bag of carrots here, you know. I'm going to start on that and rather than, you know, run down the hall and grab some Nutella or whatever. <laughs> right. Right. Okay. So, no, that's great. That's, I mean, for those in the program, the other, the other, you know, champions, as we call them, that are doing the program. So, so planning, you know, having, or well, first creating an environment to succeed in, right. Not having some of those things that are readily available or just having a better option yeah, uh, it sounds like it's a great thing and finding and and kind of in addition to that finding a healthier option to cope when you are tired or when you are stressed or, or hungry, like go to bed. <laughs> like that's a great, great kind of skill. I think it's a great life skill to say like, OK, I'm I'm in this situation, whether that's you're just tired, you're hungry, you're stressed, because I know for me, mm -hmm. I'm a total like I feel bad because I'm feeling some sort of emotion that I'm lacking something. So I want a snack, like I'm stressed. I want to grab something quick and easy that's going to make me feel good. And I don't often consciously think that, but that's kind of what I do. And so I think it's a good life skill that, you know, to find a, a good way to cope with that or find a better option. Yeah. So that's awesome. Yep, absolutely. And and originally we didn't necessarily de-junk our, our cupboards because we have two boys uh, and we didn't want to get rid of everything that they potentially could eat crackers or snacks or stuff that we would have to have on the go. Um, and about, I don't know, I can't remember. It was a week or 10 days in. I, I, uh, I blew the diet for a meal and ended up eating a bunch of junk food. And then, uh, you know, talked about it with you and, and with, you know, the members I was doing it with and, you know, you guys kind of picked me up, pick, pick back up and we gave some strategies for the next day. Uh, on, on how to counteract all of that junk food I had just eaten. And then the next day I realized that like you, you can't be right there. You can't, you can't have 
chocolate and crackers and ice cream and everything in your house you, you don't a smoker trying to quit smoking doesn't leave cigarettes in his house you know a, a drug addict doesn't leave drugs when he's trying to to quit you know it's the same with any principle like we're human we make mistakes we have times of vulnerability and uh you know to help clear everything out and make it easier uh i had to throw away that nutella and those crackers and the ice cream and and I probably threw away, I don't know, 70 or 80, maybe $100 worth of stuff, chips and, and everything. And Sarah was like, well, I guess that's okay. Oddly enough, my kids uh, started eating what was there. And that's like, you know, grapes or apples or, um, you know, it's a lot of fruit. They eat a lot of fruit instead of, you know, graham crackers or, you know, cheap little uh kids yogurts or whatever um so i i you know i guess that's an improvement for them too yeah yeah no that's awesome that's you know kids is a whole another ball game when you're trying to work around kids but i think one of the things that i've seen most successful in other people with their kids is like you said whatever's in the house like they can't go out and just buy whatever like you you teach them how to eat essentially by what's in your house and so one creating an environment for you it sounded like that was going to create facilitate success not only helped you but it's you know helping your kids empower them to eat healthy and and you know nourish their little bodies which is, is super important so that's awesome yep very cool and, and you know creating that i think you know because a lot of us like you said we're human and we you know we oftentimes are susceptible to our environment so if long term like you think about the ramifications of a kid having healthy snacks their whole life in their house and that's what they're going to enjoy. That's what they're going to be used to. And that's going to create really, really amazing habits for them long term, where they may not have to worry about weight gain or those types of things if they can really hold on to those. So that's, that's awesome. Yep. So, okay. So you've, you've, you've learned or you've, you've created an environment was one of the key things. Having support was another key thing. It sounded like obviously there was a time where you got off the diet, but we were able to get you right back on, still experienced, you know, some awesome results. Uh, anything else that you've kind of learned throughout the process, you know, the last six weeks as far as about yourself, your, the program, your habits, emotions, mentalities, anything like that that you've learned? Well, um, yeah, probably. I, I, you know, the patterns in the whole, whole like nighttime is way worse than morning. And the busier I am, the easier it is. Uh, when you uh when you slip or eat a bunch of food or eat a piece of pizza or something it's not the end of the world i will say i'll be the first to admit i did not do a perfect diet i just didn't it was about three there was about three times where i cheated in a significant way that was not like oh i'm gonna have five ounces of chicken instead of four <laughs> you know something like that so yeah you know, it, it is what it is. I, I think there's people out there probably who are doing it or have done it and you know, it's not the end of the world. Um, yes, I probably could have lost 40 pounds. I, I won't lie. Uh, it sets you back like five or six or seven days. Um, and so, you, yeah, don't do it. But, um, <laughs> but life's a process, you know, and and it is what it is. I'm, I'm pleased as punch with where I'm at. You know, I feel better and I look better and I feel lighter. Yeah. So. That's, and that you're, you, you're right on, you hit it right on the head that like life happens. And sometimes we, uh, we don't choose the right things that we want to choose, or we, we choose something different than what we're doing. And, and it's, it's important to be able to work through that. And that's something I think that one thing I love about the program is that some people get on it and they're like, this is easy. Like they just stick right to it. And, you know, it depends on where you're coming from. And some people it's not like that. And, and they, they, it's a little bit more of a, a challenge to create those habits and things, but either way, it's about working through wherever you're at and wherever you're starting from. So, and it's a good life principle. I think that you hit on that. We just keep going. Life's a process. So yeah, that's and, awesome. And the fact that you were still able to see 34 pounds of fat loss is phenomenal. So yeah, that's great. It did get easier at the end. I mean, the longer we went on, in fact, both my wife and I were like, oh, we didn't quite get the weight loss we wanted. And we thought, well, let's just keep going a little bit longer. Uh, you know, that's 
obviously not the protocol and, and you need to, to stabilize and stuff. But um, it, at the end, you're like, I guess this is sustainable. Uh, I guess I could do this for longer, you know, because you, you watch three quarters of a pound drop off you every day and you're like, I cannot believe that's happening. Uh, let's just keep going, you know? So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, super motivating. And that's, I think, and maybe you've, you've experienced, I know I have, like when you work so hard and so, like what you were talking about before and you see like two pounds maybe a week, like working out and like really watching your diet and you're seeing like maybe two pounds versus when you're on the program on the metabolic reboot and you're like, I saw like six pounds this week, you know? And yeah. that's like every single week. Yep. It's like, it's super motivating. And it does. It's like, this is sustainable. And it is, like you said, I love the, the kind of analogy you use, like our bodies operate a certain way. And so the beautiful thing is that you've now done it and, and you'll continue locking that in our maintenance period is where you do that. But long-term you're like, you know, if I choose to not abide by how my body works, I'll see weight come back on. But you, like you said, you can do this. And the, the really cool thing is you can eat a lot of food and still lose weight and maintain it. That's something you learn, especially on the maintenance that you're starting here last couple of days. Like you eat a ton of food and you don't gain any weight, which is phenomenal. It's just got to be the, that right stuff and it can totally be sustainable. So well, two, that's awesome. Two things that I wanted to add there. Um, the, uh, so I had been, Just, can you you still, still yeah, you broke up for a second. Say that again. Um, so the two things I was concerned concerned about in doing this diet afterwards was one, um, am I just going to put it right back on? Because like, you're starving your body uh, and you hear about all these yo-yo diets and I've had many of people tell me, well, I did, I've done it, that diet or I've done a diet like that or I've done HCG or I've done whatever, and you just put it back on, your body's starving after, and so it holds every bit of fat back. And two, I was worried that I was going to lose all the muscle because I had been, I had already been working out, and, and I've always been kind of a muscular guy, but I knew that the muscle is the part that allows your metabolism to come up a little bit higher, and it makes weight loss easier, so I did not want to lose that, um, and I expressed that to you originally. Um, in not ha in not being able to work out uh, and do any lifting or anything for, for six weeks. Um, and the two things that I noticed when I was done, uh, one, I went to work out. I've done it twice already. This is my first week of maintenance. And um, I don't think I lost any muscle. I mean, I, if I lost muscle, I did not lose any strength. I, I can do more push-ups. I can do more pull-ups. I can do more sit-ups than when I started this program and maybe it's because I'm lighter, so it's easier to do a push-up. But, like, I, I'm at least as strong as I used to be and maybe more. And, um, you know, it just feels like the other, the other interesting part is that you forget how much I carry a lot of my weight around my belly. And it interferes with the way you breathe eventually. And you don't realize that you don't breathe as deep when you're when you have a big belly, you know, because you don't have that room. And so when you lose the weight and you lose the belly fat and it opens up your diaphragm and your lungs, it's just easier to breathe. Um, and you can, you know, bend down or like what we were talking about earlier, we went hiking this year to go deer hunting. And um, the backpack I was wearing was the same one I was wearing last year. And the waistband on the la last year, I had to extend all the way out and it was still like pressing against my belly and it was making it hard to breathe and I was just huffing and puffing and this year uh it just did not seem that same way at all I, it's like 36 pounds lighter is uh, it's a big bag of whatever yeah. so that's a second backpack <laughs> yeah it really is life is lighter when you're 36 pounds lighter <laughs> it really it's just a strange a strange phenomenon the second part that I noticed about this week, um, I wish I could say I transitioned perfectly into from diet to maintenance. I did not. I celebrated at Applebee's uh, in a big way uh, <laughs> the, the day day 43. Um, and so I put on two pounds that next day, but then I went right back to the plan, the maintenance plan. And I got to tell you, I have not budged since then. I mean, it's just like the exact same way. And 
um, I'm eating so much food. It's unbelievable how much eight ounces of meat and eight ounces of fruit and eight ounces of vegetables are. And I've added back in some dressings and stuff that, uh, you know, have a little bit of fat. And I just, I have not, it, you can just tell this is my new, it feels like my new weight, you know, uh, like I'm not, mm-hmm. I'm not going, my body's not starving to put all that fat back on. It just doesn't feel like that at all. And so granted, it's a little early to tell, but I, I ended the weight uh, at 202 and um, that was, you know, the, the morning of that I weighed, I even got in a, a hot bath and perhaps maybe sweated out a little weight to get to the 202 number. So, so maybe I was 203 before the, before the bath. Um, I mean, I'm 203 now and I'm eating tons of food and I had that big Applebee's dinner on Sunday. And um, so it, it's cool. It feels like that's my new metabolic state is, you know, 203. So yeah. Awesome. No, that is, uh, that's phenomenal. That's a, a true testament to giving your body the right inputs and allowing it to just function the right way. You not only do you lose the weight, but that's the beauty of the reboot program is that you reset that whole process and you do, you maintain that. Now, again, if you were to eat that day after day and you're at Applebee's every day and you're eating pizza every day or whatever, obviously that goes against how our bodies work. And no matter who you are, if you do that, over time you'll gain weight, but that's the, I love to hear that. Even with the, I mean, you're eating tons of food on the maintenance you, uh, for those who maybe don't know, you're, you're pretty much double the amount of food you lose on, you do on the losing phase. So you're, eating, you're already eating tons of food. You celebrated at Applebee's, but maintain that, which is awesome. So, so cool to hear. So that's really cool. Yeah. So well, that's, I, I was really excited to feel as strong or stronger than I was when I started. That was really cool. And then, uh, you know, the whole weight where I'm at now. Um, there's something really relieving about getting done with the 42 days and freeing and you feel good and you feel like you've achieved it and maybe relax a little bit. And that's maybe perhaps not the way the perfect diet <laughs> maintenance program works, but that's what it's done for me. And I've been super impressed that I have not put even one pound back on. In fact, had I followed it perfect, I probably would have lost a couple more pounds. Yeah. Yeah. We, and we, and it's funny, everyone's a little bit different because some people go up and they go down and they, it's a little bit of fluctuation there, but it locks that in. So, and yeah, I think uh, we can going forward, I think we can actually do some things to help you lose a little bit more if you want. Cause we actually see that a lot of times people will keep losing even on the, you know, first or first or second week of maintenance and then you lock it in there, um, which is great. So, um, and phenomenal to hear. I know that was a concern for you, the, the strength, because you, you had been lifting, you are a muscular guy. And to, to, I, like, I think I told you before, like, for me, that was the same. I experienced that I was, I could do more, like I could, I could exercise longer and feel better. I could breathe better. I could do more push-ups, sit-ups, pull-ups, because you're lighter. But that's the beauty of allowing the body to have the right input. Is it on a lot of programs where you're just like starving yourself, you're burning a lot of that muscle, which is crap. Like we don't want that. Cause that's actually really unhealthy for people. But on the program, because of what we use are the, the uh, homeopathic spray or the drops that we use and the diet that we use really allows your body to only burn the midsection, that belly fat and, and the abnormal stuff and keep all the muscle, which is super cool to hear. So glad to yeah. hear that. It burns fat all over. I'm still getting used to how I look. I mean, it's my face yeah. is different. My neck is different. My clothes, I've shrunk, you know, all my clothes sizes. Everybody keeps telling me I have to wear smaller shirts because they're burying me. Uh, it, it's, pretty, <laughs> it's pretty cool. I feel like a young man again. I feel maybe yeah. like my age, so that's good. Yeah, that's cool. Very cool. Well, I appreciate you sharing. All, obviously, that's phenomenal. I'm super. And the thing is, is that you did it. Like, I, I'm just super, super thrilled with you, like your progress that you just achieved amazing, phenomenal results, which is awesome here. And they'll keep going. That's the beauty of it is now your body's functioning better. You've gotten some good, good things you've learned. And as you go through maintenance and continue now incorporating good, healthy things like exercise and that it's, it's amazing to see where the body can go and how much you can really like people feel 10, 20 years younger than they were in there. And literally like, I was, I was listening to someone, this is kind of an interesting thing, who had done the program and gotten a, a, like, a, 
I don't know what they call it, like a body age test to see how old your body kind of is molecularly or cellularly. And they were literally like 10 years younger than when they had started the program mm -hmm. uh, after doing tests, just phenomenal things. So it's, it's fun to hear you, you know, feeling younger too, which is great. So yeah. cool. Well, anything as far as, uh, so you lost 34 pounds, your clothes are, sh you're shrinking, your clothes are drowning you. Any other results? I mean, you, you say your face, your neck, anything else you've experienced as far as results you've seen? Well, but I did eat sugar at Applebee's. I had uh, their blondie there. Uh, boy, it felt like my veins uh, had, almost, I mean, it was like vibrating. Like I was just, you know, the sugar was a uh, problem. In fact, I had anxiety and stuff afterwards. So uh, I think some of my, you know, the anxiety and depression that I've had issues with in the past has probably been some dietary um, I, you know, it's just, it's super strange um, to want, like the other day, I, instead of, I have this back porch with a, it's got a railing around it and then steps that go down. And uh, I went outside and I had to go do something down there and I jumped the railing instead of going down the stairs. And I thought that was weird. Why did I decide to jump the railing? I haven't, I've never done that. And it's, <laughs> it's just, you're, you're young, you're strong and you feel good again, you know? And uh, I feel a lot more nimble and um, yeah, I started, I started the exercise program that's out afterwards. Uh, we can talk about that later. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Anyways. Cool. Um, yeah. You, just lots and lots of cool stuff. Uh, you, you are just more efficient and uh, you know, your body works better. Your brain works better. Your heart works better. Your lungs work better. Uh, your skin looks better. Everything, everything there is in your body, you know, is better when you're eating healthy and when you're uh, lighter. Yeah, cool. That's awesome. So I won't keep any more of your time. Thank you. You look great. You're, I don't, we live like, I don't know how many hours apart now, like eight hours apart now. We, we don't see each other even more now, probably as much, but you look great on the, on your face. You're looking trim and, and thin which is awesome. So anything you'd share, I mean, who, anybody, if you were to recommend this to somebody, uh, who would you recommend it to? Uh, you want me to call people out right now? Oh, and, and maybe not someone <laughs> specific, but just like a person, it's like a type of person, someone who like someone you think would really benefit from, from doing this. I mean, I can't think of a person I wouldn't recommend it for. Uh, I mean, anyone who's like over the age of 27, uh, who has like started to slip, like just get it over with. That's, that was my whole thing is like, let's get it over with, be done. I can reset it and start from, I, I'm almost to my marriage weight, you know, another eight or 10 pounds than I would have been where I was when I got married. And I look at my photos in my wedding pictures and I look little, um, I guess you haven't seen me since I lost all that weight either. So you're, you're no, I haven't physically you, seen you. We just talking on the face phone. My neck is like new to you. Yeah, too. <laughs> absolutely. Well, that's what I say. Like you, you've always been a really like big, strong guy and not, not in like a bad way. Like if I had, I, when I get like 10 pounds, I'm like, I look chubby and, but you just look like you're a strong guy. And so, yeah, it's like, you look thin and trim and you look great. So, it's fun to see it. Thanks. So cool. Well, awesome. Well, appreciate you sharing your, your story, your experience and excited for obviously what's coming down the road with your future and feeling light and nimble, which is awesome to see. Awesome to hear. So um, anyway, yeah, this is also like if, if you're on the program right now, you've had some phenomenal, like just words of wisdom for those watching, which, which is great too. So um, as, as people do the program and go through it, it's great to, to hear other people's success. So I appreciate you sharing that. And I'll, we'll let you go. I know you got two kids and a wife probably waiting for you on a Friday night, but appreciate you taking some time. All right. Thanks. Okay. Thanks, Darren. We'll talk to you later. Okay. Bye.